Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution, and today I have something really unique to show you. I know I get really excited about a lot of different products, but this one is really special. It is a four-channel SDI to NDI converter. It's from Switchblade, and the product's called the Splice X4 NDI. I have it here right beside me. It's a 4x4 four four inch computer with four SDI ports on the front, network and power on the back, and all you have to do in order to get four channels of high quality full NDI onto your network is to plug in four SDIs, power, and Ethernet. And once it's booted up, you'll see them appear on your network. And with that, let's do a little walkthrough of how to set that up and what it looks like in your system. So this is the unit here. Uh, it may look an awful lot like a NUC, and that's because it is. It's a small form factor computer with four SDI ports uh, tacked onto it. Um, it has USB 3, HDMI, power, and Ethernet. But in order to use this like the appliance that uh, it's intended to, um, if you want to just throw this in your studio and hook up four cameras, it has to be able to just simply be able to be plugged in. So I'm just going to plug in my SDI cameras and power and Ethernet and boot it up and see what exactly shows up in our list of NDI sources in vMix. So we're here in vMix and this is where we're going to check our NDI sources. Um, we can go into NDI uh, desktop capture and we can see the Splice X4 NDI uh, inputs here. So here's our four channels of uh, SDI coming in and I've already added them to our project here so we can take a look at the different inputs coming in. So here's our four different SDI inputs uh, as the system booted up again without um, a keyboard or a monitor. It's just behaving like an appliance where the SDI video is going in and being converted to full NDI. And of course, you don't have to use this with vMix. This would work the same in a TriCast or Wirecast or Livestream or any system that's capable of bringing in full NDI. And since it's full NDI, it's a, a very high bit rate and you can use it to do just about anything uh, at that point that is capable of taking NDI and doing something with it. In this case, I've hooked it up to the Turbo uh, the Switchblade Turbo is our uh, portable vMix system, um, but you could use it in a variety of uh, situations. You could use it with a laptop, for example, running vMix. Getting SDI sources, multiple SDI sources, into vMix is um, into a laptop is uh, traditionally a challenge. You have to use a non-locking Thunderbolt um, cable and a Thunderbolt enclosure and the support for these things varies widely. So this is sort of like if you could think of this as a networkable uh, IO4K or other th external Thunderbolt device uh, that doesn't need to be anywhere near the system that you're doing your live production on. So it's a very flexible uh, device. And speaking of that flexibility, let's take a look at um, actually connecting to it as if it were a computer instead of just an appliance. Now, since this is a computer, we can also hook up a keyboard monitor and mouse to it. And instead of using it like an appliance, we can use it like a computer. So if we wanted to hook up a keyboard monitor and mouse to it, we can now take a look at what the appliance's UI looks like. Surprise, it's vMix behind it. What vMix is doing is it's taking in the four SDI inputs and it's converting them to NDI. And if we wanted to change the name of our NDI channel, we would just go into here and we would rename the name of it. And that way, if we wanted to do center, left, right, and wide, uh, we would rename our inputs accordingly and they would show up in our NDI sources with different names. And because it's vMix, we can also do something like uh, use HTTP matrix to send it API commands, um, allowing it to act like a switcher without ever plugging in a monitor, keyboard, or mouse. We can start and stop recording, start and stop streaming, um, make it do a variety of things that vMix is capable of doing. And that is some of the added flexibility and functionality of the Splice X4 NDI is that it not only behaves like an appliance, 
um, to tear in four SDI sources into NDI. It can also do multiple other things at the same time because the system is quite flexible and powerful. So you can use it as if it were an appliance or you can use it in a value added uh, method as well. I think we can all agree that this is a pretty amazing product. It has a number of uses, and if you want to bring four SDI sources into NDI, into your production, this is certainly something to consider. It's a very small form factor, and it's very portable, making it ideal to bring with you with a laptop to your venue and to bring in those four NDI sources via your network into your laptop for live streaming. You can also use it as a standalone entity uh, to bring in those four sources and stream or record some of them. You could use it in your studio to bring in four SDI sources into your NDI environment, and you don't have to be anywhere near that environment as long as you're connected via a network. It's also capable of being rack mounted. You could rack mount four of these together, and you would have up to 16 sources in a very dense population. Um, there are a lot of different applications for this, and it's extremely cost effective on a per input uh, ingest level. So you're able to use this with a wide variety of platform that all supports NDI, and you're able to add at a very cost effective um, way a number of different sources here. So it's very flexible, as we've discussed, being able to use the API uh, to connect to it and to send it commands. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can check out the HTTP matrix uh, application on our website, usbroadcast.co. And if you have any more uh, questions about the product, please feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co, our Facebook page, or check out switchbladesystems.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.